All right, so this is a video that I have been waiting to make for a good amount of time now. Um, this is something I've been like hyping up, like sort of, sort of here and there, saying like, okay, I'll I'll compile those characters that are supposed to release at some point and that have some sort of mention in the files that mean something, uh, where they could be a character after the post, the initial characters we know about. I thought that I would finally do it today and announce it because a lot of people have been asking me for it lately. Uh, so today we're gonna jump into it. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. These are your next characters coming to Ultra Rumble. And then beyond, post the actual main leak that we've had, what happens then? We'll answer that question here today, so like and subscribe, helps out a ton, let's jump into things. First things first, I would always like to place down disclaimers, so please listen to these disclaimers. What I want to start with is first, the next three or four characters are guaranteed, 1 billion percent guaranteed to happen. Unless they go and add something in, they're guaranteed. Let's be very honest here, they haven't added anything in that we didn't expect, so as of right now, the next four characters are guaranteed. Post that four characters, it's all up in the air of who it actually is, because there is no order that we know of. What I can tell you is these characters that I will list, post those four, have some sort of mention, some sort of things. This is again, some that from the same file that we had back then that I covered one year ago uh, that had initial information. Now we're reaching the point where this stuff is actually useful and gives us the idea. So far, all the information was correct, right? The indication we had was if a character has an emblem, they're releasing. Now, the other characters, these don't have emblems, but what they have is at least something that could hint towards they being worked on, or again, given this entire change and how different the game has been in one year, maybe they add on some cool characters that people really want to see instead of going for these characters, which some of them aren't really as exciting as you might think they are. So, again, first, let's establish a fact here. Who are our next characters? Our next characters will go off of the list that we've had for a very long time again, those characters being... Yes, Nedjure has to release. She is a character who still, again, we have that asset for. We've had that asset for forever. She has an emblem. Because of an emblem, we now know, or since day one, if a character had an emblem, they released. That's how things worked. Again, we had Endeavor's emblem, All for One's emblem. We had a full spreadsheet of all the emblems. That gave us the idea of, again, who's next. So, Nedjure Hado, Season 8, will that be the case? We'll see again if that is 100% confirmed. But for now, that's a character that you have to see up and coming. And yes, that's one of them. Beyond Nejire, what happens then? That leaves you with three characters. Because of Pre uh, President Mike releasing, you're only left with three characters that have an emblem. People are actually doom posting, and this is a true story, uh, that, you know, once these three release were dead, the game shuts down. Imagine, <laughs> please don't, dude. I need, I need Miracle in one more game, otherwise I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flip out, dude. Uh, but yes, Kuroguri is another character that has to release. Again, is he right after Nejire? I don't know, but he is probably coming in the next six months. Because again, two months per character, that's how things work or eight months rather, because again, two months in Nejire, two months in Kuragiri, two months and so forth, right, for the two characters after, but Kuragiri exists. Beyond Kuragiri, we also have Monoma. Yes, a character that Reddit loves, and every time I open up Reddit, there's a Monoma post. Um, shout out to the person who pff, manages all that. But uh, Monoma is a character also, right? And yes, again, a very exciting character, whatever, whatever, coming at some point within the next eight months, because again, the guy has an emblem. Beyond that, the final character left on our list, and this is it. Once this character releases, our list of emblems are now done. We know nothing, unless they continually add things past that and um, leak a different way, because again, I don't think they're going to leak emblems from this point onwards, but Shinso. Shinso's the other character. Now, with these four characters, Nejire, Kuriguri, Monoma, Shinso, there is nothing left on our list. That is it. That is your... If there is no two characters per season, that is your next eight months of MNT Ultra Rumble. A lot of people also say that this is like the most unhyped six months. Yes, they definitely did pick up the better characters early on. They definitely saved the lesser hyped ones later on, but um, they could have a very cool skill kit. And again, I am excited still to see how they turn out. But yes, I will agree that maybe some of them may not exactly hype up as much as Hawks or Nejire or Overhaul or Muria or Twice hyped you up. But they have been there and they did save those three for the last, but... It would be funny if they don't release these three because maybe they're unhyped and they chose to, you know, insert other characters. Would be hilarious, but don't do that to the Monoma, uh, Monoma homies on Reddit, right? But beyond this list, the other link that we had, again, this is a day one thing from back then that gave us the idea of what is potentially worked on post that. Everything has gotten uh, been gotten correct with characters who had emblems. Aizawa had an emblem, Endeavor, Mirio, Nejire, uh, Kai Chizuki, Twice, Hawks, um, Kuroguri, Monoma, Shinso, Prezimike. All those characters released as this list again showed. I won't show the list just in case, you know, whatever, whatever, but I will talk about what is the other stuff, uh, stuff on the list, right? So basically, it was a full spreadsheet, gave you an idea for what they have. It was whether they had emblems, base code, quirk skills, voice lines, voice lines that are voiced, has base module, uh, model, sorry, uh, has costumes and has animations or has VFX. That was everything. 
that was listed here. Let me be honest with you, Shota Aizawa, all for one, uh, Kai Chizuki, and the other ones that we know of, they had almost everything, correct? Now, Hawks didn't have VFX, but he had an emblem, so we knew he would release. From this list, who was left to release? There's a few characters that might release the way you want them to. So, Jiro has been talked about. She does have a base mod uh, model, but again, could have been just ported from One Justice. Most of the assets are ported from One Justice. You gotta realize that most of the stuff here in this game has been straight up ported from One Justice, and that's it. So seeing this in the files didn't really cause any sort of correlation. A lot of people have been saying Jiro next in my comment section for the longest time. She's not next for a very long time, eight more months at least. But base model was, was, was there. She does have some sort of, again, minuscule animations. She has some base code. That's it, that's all she has. So does she indicate as next? I don't know, but up and coming at some point, post what we have right now, she actually has the, the potential to release, because again, she has some things. Uh, Tokoyami. Tokoyami has base code set up. That's it. Nothing else. So, he's probably one of the least on the list that has something, but again, can't say much there. Um, beyond that, Stain has base code and some very, again, minuscule animations, apparently. Um, so, he's also there. Who knows how much of it was just ported from One Justice, but there is some stuff there, and it's crazy we haven't gotten Stain yet. He is like one of the more exciting characters in the game but it's fine i'm just I'm, I'm gonna hate i'm a hater that's what it is i cannot believe he didn't release yet uh, beyond that tamaki yamajiki he has some base code set up but nothing else so most likely again he's uh, on par with uh tokoyami he doesn't have anything so who knows when he actually releases uh, beyond that is mina ashido but she actually has a little bit more than uh, anybody else she has animations so not just like tamajiki she has at least animations uh, minora mineta has nothing he just has base code. That's it. So, yeah. But, uh, Minor Mineta, base code. Beyond that, we have um, Twice Hawks. Already mentioned these. They're already released. Gentle and Mei Hatsume. They only have base code set up. Nothing else. So, again, unless in one year things have changed, that's all they have. So, if anything, the only ones that look like they're closer to ready is, again, Mina and Jiro. But put two and two together, right? Or Stain, right? Because, Yeah. <laughs> Other things like Hawks didn't have most ready uh, or things ready, but they started getting things ready differently. Whenever they need to hype up a character, they'll get them when they need to. That's how that's how things operate. So there is that. Beyond uh, Gentle and, and Mehatsume, there's La Brava. She has base code set up, and she does not have animations. Damn. So no no animations for her. Again, Kurugiri, we already had uh, said we already are getting him. Monoma, Shinso, Present Mike. Beyond that, there are some characters in the files that aren't named that have some stuff set up for them, but we don't know what those are. And again, unless something changed, that's the list. That's literally it. There's a few other characters mentioned here that are name dropped in the files, but they have nothing of value added to them where you can't even suggest that they would release because of that. And again, some of these characters were ported from One Justice. So this list could just be straight up ported from One Justice. But what, what is the takeaway of this video? Post the release of Monoma, Shinso, Nedure, Korogiri, potentially you could see characters like Tokoyami. You could see characters like um, Stain, uh, Mina, Tamaki, uh, Tamaki Yamajiki, uh, Minoru Mineta, who else? Um, Gentle, uh, Mehatsume, you could see Jiro, characters like that. Also, remember, there are voice lines in the files that indicate, hey, a person talking to a character like Mirko, a character like whoever, whoever. There's a bunch of characters that are name dropped, but they don't have anything beyond that. So are they actually characters that will release at some point? I can't tell you for sure. Because again, yes, there's indications that they're name dropped, but they don't have anything else. They don't have base code. They don't have animations, rigging, anything, or anything of the sort. So what I will say is this. Post the release of these four characters, that's the list. That's potentially there. But the devs can also say, you know what? We're at a point with this game that we need to get something hyped. We need to. And whatever's on that list may not be hyped enough. So we'll drop Mirko. So we'll drop Midnight. So we'll drop, again, characters that people are really looking forward to. Uh, Stars and Stripes. We'll drop a character like... Um, Redestro, we'll drop a character, anything, anything that is, again, super exciting, that can see a nice increase in player base or whatever, they might drop that character. I know a lot of people do want that wind guy from that uh, Shiketsu, whatever. He's, again, a popular character. A lot of people have been asking for him. Whoever the community has been asking for, maybe they say, you know what, to generate hype, post these characters, let's do it. Um, again, there is no guarantee, but whatever I share with you is a list of some characters that have had uh, stuff in the files that could finally see the release here again the game has been out for one year now by the time we reach the next point of new characters that are listed here it'll maybe be two years of the game or one uh, and six months but what i will say is this we still haven't gotten a class 1a character so i wonder when are we going to see the next batch or next drop of class 1a characters um 
uh, who knows? Again, there, there are so many characters in Class 1A that haven't released that should release. So do what you want with this information. Again, keep in mind, take it with a grain of salt. Don't take this as 100%, but um, just know that post of 4, it's all it's, 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 it's a battlefield, free game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see what the devs do. And uh, if, if new characters start getting emblems, then that will give you the new indication. Maybe we get a new season two of just straight emblems. Like we see a full drop of emblems again. And that sets up the new next one year of the game. So would be very cool to see. But as of right now, we'll have to wait a few months till we, uh, till we get to that point. So again, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Have fun. That's been it for me. And yeah, that's all I got for you.